Hello guys and welcome to another episode of the Communist States of America playthrough here in uh, Hearts of Iron 4. So uh, I don't even know what to say man. So far uh, we haven't really done that well. <laughs> I don't know, uh, I've learned a lot though. A lot of my problems in this playthrough have been related to being completely unable to successfully do naval invasions and I'm definitely a lot better at that now. So. We do have some units here preparing another fucking naval invasion, and uh, I do want to get another naval invasion going. This guy, we're really just waiting for him, so if you could get down there, see I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind that. Hungary is capitulated to who? Capitulated to Yugoslavia, okay. So I'm gonna kick the Magyars out, they still have some land, but uh, I don't know what that's all about, but there you are. The Yugoslavs. Now they are not aligned. The Regency Council. But they're allied to the Allies. So. Yeah, they're gonna probably take. Yeah, they're currently invading Austria. So they're gonna take part in the fall of the German Reich. Because they are definitely dead at this point. I mean. The British own Berlin. Denmark! Look at the Danish. What is that even? <laughs> Freaking Denmark is invading, That's I think that's hilarious. But I don't know, we are not really involved in that, and that was sort of the point of this playthrough. So we're really just going to continue our tragedy in Peru. God, I wonder how many men have died. And more importantly, how much equipment we have lost. Waging this pointless war. Oh, if only you would give me access. Although you can't act- uh, yeah, you, he needs to join the faction. If he is to... Well, actually, I mean, Bolivia... <clears throat> yeah, communism took a hit there. Uh, but, sh yeah, these guys, you need to join my faction. You guys are getting pretty fucking communist, if I ever saw. So, let us go. Political party in this country, coup. Strength is determined by the ideology support in the target nation. Let's try that. Until it will reach 200 total. So we have to spend... Oh, yay, yay. Galap Galapagos Islands? Why would I do that? What's the... Let's, let's try a bigger nation. I want to see how this works. Okay, so they don't have a fancy button like that. So we could try that. Uh, we could try and stage a coup. Um, I say we do so. If I can get troops on this border over here, that would be so good. So even if we don't have that much political power, we will be spending the little we have to desperately try and get what we need. As I keep spamming this button in a desperate attempt to get them to stop fucking attacking when it's no point in doing so. Man, this would be good. Rubber Reserve Company. Adds production of rubber. Can't do it though because we're not democratic. So, I don't know, I've run out of plans. Let's, I don't know, let's go War Plan Red. Just see what that actually achieves. I don't know, it might be, might be fun. While we wait. I mean, yeah, there's no, no, there's no armies. Well, there is this army. But that is merely an army set to prepare a naval invasion of Peru. Infantry anti-tank. Sure, we're also working on support weapons for... As it is now 1942, so we should start working on some of, the, some of those technologies. What is this all about? Wow, that filled up quickly. <laughs> okay, I don't know. Naval bombers, just I don't know. I, mean, I don't know what produce mean. I def I'm definitely playing as a smaller nation next time around because this is beyond me. I feel this is such a mess. Ooh, navy combat. Um. No commander. Well, we should probably fix that. How do I fix that? <laughs> uh, oh fuck! No! 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 That's my invasion fleet! No! Fuck! Where's my uh, rest of my navy? Shouldn't you? Oh, I don't know. Patrol? Kill them? Help? Support the situation? Oh, they are already there. Okay, good, good, good. Centralized fire control. Good, 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 good. Because I think that went well. Still haven't figured out how to get the pop-up that tells me how things went, but, you know. 
That is not for me to have then. Let's get that. Unread. Yeah, I know. Oh, uh, click the center on the next result. Click the icon in the region to read the report. Oh, okay. So they lost subs and I kicked ass. Okay, okay, nice. So the invasion will go on schedule then. Love it. Well, one of the guys will be a bit late to the party, but surely that's fine. No, I, this confuses me. Like, Chile is... <laughs> Chile is almost doing what this entire blob of an army can't. Oh, it's almost green. Come on, go! And... I don't know. What, we really al already have in Stake? Well, keep reducing medium tanks, because I've, um, I've decided to start to spam some more of these things. Uh, because that sounds logical, doesn't it? Sounds logical to me. Oh shit, we're actually running out of infantry equipment. Maybe I should focus on that then. War plan red. Well, let's continue working on that. We might as well use that to get the Casas Belly I need. Oh, there we go, we have landed. With one dipshit. <laughs> uh, where's the rest of them? Who are you? Why did you land there when everyone else landed here? Not a successful landing, that is. Shit. Well, this guy seems to be doing alright, so... I guess I'm happy that he did what he did. Although if I could make him run away to this place... And I don't know, start like an attack on the side of this dude... Then I feel like I would sort of prefer that. So... Uh, more equipment, thank you. Three civilian factories, okay. Jesus Christ, they build so quick now, now that we have our our industry and whatnot up and running. Let's just go mental. Let's go mental, guys. Guys? Come on, win this battle. Jesus Christ, I should have had a landing here as well. Double attack. Oh shit, did that guy die? Yeah, he, well, he's running home. Are you guys ready? Not soon. We're just speeding through here. And there's nothing, nothing much to do until this is over. Come on! Ah, oh, we lost all of a sudden, damn it! Fuck. Here you go. The next invasion! Relax efficient. Oh, fuck you! That's. That is. Oh. That coast is like. right here! Patrol. Oh, wrong button. Now then. You're out of excuses. Yeah, he should go now. Slovakia has capitulated. Who took it? That would be uh, the Greater Yugoslav Empire. It's gonna be interesting to see how the peace deal works out. I hope the Danish take some Labans around. That would be hilarious. I don't really know how this works. Like, how does um, how does the German Empire get carved up when uh, the Soviet Union wasn't even involved in defeating them? I don't know. But it's definitely going to be interesting. So, oh my God, we just took this region. This region we have been stuck in for so many years now. Oh God, we need to get there quickly. Move onwards to there. Quickly, attack them in the side. Go, go, go. You slow pokes. Let this precious dumb little naval invasion of mine will succeed. Three military factories already. Well, more toward artillery then. Speaking of artillery, I should add artillery to my more of my units. <gasps> Dude, you did. Did we just take Lima? How close are you to giving up? <gasps> He's so close. He's so close. You just need to move here. All of you dipshits, go. Onwards. Attack. I don't think there are any other provinces we can go into, so this is what this is it. Oh Jesus! Okay, uh, so you go up there now? No, 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 no! You go there. No, you go there. No, there. Yes. We need to attack all the forces on Arakipa, Kipia, because that's where it's at. Why are you guys spazzing out? What, is, what even is this attack? Embargo the empire. Well, I guess since well, I guess we are doing. War plan red after all. 
Oh man, I'm almost starting regretting making this pointless faction of mine, because it's not like it's fucking achieving anything. I'm starting to think, like, can I just abolish the my faction? It's metal faction. Why not? Um. Why? Okay, never mind. I'm pretty sure it's because we're at war. Uh, I think that's the problem. So. Yeah, because what I was thinking, if we could join the Comintern, we could um, could make the Soviets invade the UK over here, which could be awesome, so... I don't know, I guess maybe we'll have to invade Italy, but fuck that, <laughs> I don't want to invade Italy. Especially when um, when they're not fighting anybody else. Yeah, they're really just waging war upon me. They have war goals upon some of the allies, hopefully they launch themselves into it. Without any thoughts for their safety. How are we even managing to lose this? I don't understand! Do they have to go all the way before they can actually start fighting? I guess maybe that's how it works. Damn it! Oh, how low have we fallen. Now we have to import steel again. It's not like we can't afford it, but still, that's sort of disappointing. <laughs> Uh, we are at war with like everyone. Well, so what happened to that other army? Has it just joined up with this one for some reason? Looks like it has. And they're refusing to win this dipshit war! Latvia has capitulated, the Soviet Union annexed them. Wow, both? Okay, I guess they annexed the remaining part of that Polish faction that happened a while back. Uh, we need to do some more research. Uh, let's do advanced artillery. I got resources again. Jeebus, how much steel do we need? Well, pay for it. We can uh, spend some political power, although... Maybe there are other things we can do instead. Not that I know of any better things to do, to be honest. I don't know, I would like to... I want you to join my faction, but I don't think there's any good way I can do that. So sadly, that's not gonna happen. I don't know, we can boost party popularity in Ecuador, I guess. We'll try to stage a coup, that's what we'll do. Stage a coup. But maybe we can get them into our faction and then call them into the war against Peru. Although actually, staging a coup probably won't necessarily achieve anything. So, I don't know. Oh my god, the German Reich has capitulated. Ah, well they got to keep some land. A lot a lot of land actually. At certain times, yeah, I guess that's one way to say it. So Slovakia <laughs> Poor Austria. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Oh come on, really? You gotta you gotta border gore, don't you? Well that's what happens when the provinces have such weird shapes. So the Democratic Party comes into power in Hungary. Uh, Slovak Republic is democratic. Yugoslavia just annexed a bunch of land. I guess they're technically not democratic, so it's not like they give a shit. Lithuania was liberated. Deutsch Sozialen Österreich. What, really? You, you liberated them but let them keep their fascism? That's funny. And we got a democratic Germany. However, Poland became fascist, so that's the thing. <laughs> Those are some weird borders as well. I mean, what? The Germans get to ke they get to keep control over the Czech Republic or Czechia, as I guess you could call it now. That's sort of hilarious, I must say. Uh, regardless, though, is I don't know. The people are not entirely prepared, but I'm gonna launch the two plans I've made here. Final assault. Hopefully this will somehow work, where the previous attempt did not. And we need even more infantry equipment, so let's work on that, I guess. Jesus Christ, we need so much of this stuff. It is ludicrous. Why are you not... Oh, no factories? I thought you said I have factories to spare. Soviet Union has invaded Finland. That's harsh for them, I guess. But we are about to surround the scum over here. Anti-imperialism, well, strike at the Empire. That'll give us the castle bellies, but we're nowhere shape or form ready to go for the attack though, so... It's definitely going to be a while until we're actually going, but... 
Well, so now we're getting attacked there, but that's no threat. So now these bitches better be surrounded. Entrenchment. Low supply. Terrain. Aye, aye, aye. Don't they have the surrounded modifier? They should. We now have advanced computing machine, that's nice, but... I don't know, we'll go for more encryption. I don't know if that's the reason I can't see what they have, but let's go for more decryption. Let's see if that somehow lets me see the amount of unit units they're feeling here, so I know we'll have a little bit more what to, you know, expect. So you guys go there. And you guys go there. This really is the only battle that, that, is matter that matters, so... Also, we should probably defend this front line here. So you go there. Jeez, look at how many people have died in this dumb war. I guess technically a lot more Peruvians have died, but Jesus Christ. Wow, we have like no divisions. I'm starting to think maybe I haven't produced as many as I should, but... Hell, I'm working hard to get more, so... Hopefully there'll still be time. Oh my god, are we finally fucking winning? You, everybody, everybody, everybody join the fight! And speed along. Pray to the gods, the American gods. Also, I didn't tell all of you to go. Or maybe I did, and it was just me being dumb. Who knows? Advanced artillery. Oh, Jesus. What? Okay, I guess there's some stuff I need to do here. <gasps> oh! We finally did it! We killed Peru! Oh, the gods. Fuck me, fuck this nation, fuck everything. I don't even want this place to be honest. Can per can Chile, do you want you want Peru? Can you deal with Peru for me? You get Oh all these. I hope that I'm not giving accidentally giving away some of these states, but Oh, okay, so you can't click on them on the map. Uh, yeah, because is that, is that, that, is that, and that is not an occupied state, technically, so. Yeah, you get all that, you deal with the rebels, and I, I swear to God, if you fuck this up, oh man. Oh man, the murdering that will happen. Yeah, you have that. Now leave me alone. I don't want to, I don't want to be in South America, man. I'm done, I'm so done with this continent. I'm <laughs> going back to the north. Fuck! Ah, what really? Finland was able to resist? Oh, never mind. They did take the historic territories. So, I don't know. I'm just interested to see, like, what faction would this new Poland be in? No faction. Okay. So the Allies did not force the German Republic to join the Allies. So they, they might at some point. Still, so I still find it hilarious that they just didn't bother liberating uh, Czechia. Uh, it's funny to me. Romania has joined the Roman Empire. I don't know, I, I feel like, I mean, this whole Italy, the, the whole thing Italy is doing, I guess it's sort of working out for them. Uh, oh, yeah, sure you have. Oh no, not Romania. And there goes Lithuania. So there we go, now we have Casaspelli. I hope that lasts for a while. Yeah, I want that lasts for a while. So now, I guess that's the next thing. Whether or not this will be a success or not, I have no idea. But we are invading the United... No, mainly we're invading Canada, but we're also invading the UK, I guess. Whether or not we'll ever get around to actually winning these wars we're starting, that's a different question. But I just can't be bothered to invade Italy. Like, ugh. Ugh. Unless Italy... I don't know, can someone else think? <laughs> France, don't you want to invade Italy? That sounds like fun to me. You should totally invade Italy. Uh, that's all I'm hoping for. I'm hoping that that the uh, Soviet Union decides to invade uh, Romania and Italy and just wrecks them, and then I don't have to do it. That would be optimal. Also, now that this dumb war is over, uh, you still want, don't want to join faction? Really? Oh well. Oh really? You <laughs> okay. Uh, so they, the Soviet Union decided to take most of Lithuania, except for this region for some reason, which they decided to not take. Wow, they even forced it to give up their claims. That's interesting. They just abolished the very idea of Lithuania. Huh. 
Also, yeah, I'm fabricating claims on the remaining Central American nations. And then God knows if we'll ever bother knocking out the Caribbean dipshits. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. It might actually be useful to get them out of the way before we start waging grand and glorious war against the British. Uh, I do have an army ready to knock out Costa Rica and Panama, but I guess once we get the political power, we should maybe think about fabricating claims on these people as well. Really, my goal is to try and make as much of South America a communist and then try and conquer my way through all of North America. Also, the Japanese seem to be losing. That's good. That at least means they'll never be a pain in the arse for me, which I very much appreciate. <laughs> you want to send nine volunteers? Well, it's not really... I mean, honestly, you... Ah, oh, fuck me. Ah, oh, I do regret making my faction. I do. But it'd be much better if we could have allied the Soviet Union, call them in and make them fuck up Italy real good. But sure, I'll, I'll let you send your volunteers, that's all good. Soviet influence in Europe. Okay, I haven't actually seen this one before. Since the rise to power of the All Union Communist Party, the Soviet Union has been working towards closer relations with the Soviet... Has been... <laughs> Excuse me? The Soviet Union has been working towards closer relationship with... The Soviet Union. Okay, so... Yeah, no, this, this is just bugged. <laughs> There's no logic there. <laughs> uh, that's funny, though. I do like that. So who's this? That's... Che <laughs> that's Czechoslovakia. <laughs> okay. So... <laughs> they, did, they did technically liberate Czechoslovakia. They just gave them this province. So there's actually no Czechs in this Czechoslovak Republic, but... Oh, Europe. Oh, Europe! Oh, Hearts of Iron 4, I should say. Alright, so I've been editing my divisions a bit, plopping in some support things without really knowing what I'm doing, but I don't know. As I said, I don't know, so I'm just doing my best. That's really all I can do, isn't it? Yeah, yeah we are just a fight on you. I don't think we have the points yet, though, to get that. I'm, uh, I'm also not doing any focuses yet. I'm just prioritizing just getting my political power. It's changing so much right now. Arranging coups and boosting ideology. I don't even know how useful this is. I'm gonna, well, I don't know. Can I just cancel this one, maybe? Yeah, fuck this. Uh, cancel staging coup. The communist one, that is. Send. Cancel. There we are. Just need to click a little bit there and there. Yeah, that's gonna boost down our political power. It allows us to invade more people and stuff. I mean, I'm still hoping, praying, that maybe one day we can get this dipshit into our faction. Though our opinion is huge, though. I don't know. Yeah, actually, we have max improved relations. There's no... There's no hope, it seems. The only way to do it would be to... Um, to end the war with Italy, and that's not happening. Really, we've sort of uh, got ourselves a bit stuck here, I think. But, uh, I don't know, I still want to invade Canada, because that sounds fun. So, we're still gonna invade Canada, don't worry about that. Going mental with factories. Wow, I never thought we would actually completely build up uh, the factories, but it looks like that's happening. Because we have so many factories now, I will produce more military bullshit than any of the other nations on Earth. Yeah, that's basically the goal at this point. <laughs> I don't know if there's anything else I should build, but I don't know, we can build that at some other point. I am sure of it. I think we're going to end the episode here, though. Still have plenty of things to do. We really just have a big mess of an army right now. Uh, other than the, the one army sitting down here that is to some extent organized and ready to do stuff. Uh, we're going to put troops on the borders of uh, Canada. And I do think we'll s pick up some various marines and we'll see if we can invade Cuba. Because that should be fun. Do need to be careful. We never know whether or not these guys might just join the Allies rather than joining the uh, the new Roman Empire. So we could accidentally bump ourselves into a war. So we need to be ready to invade Canada when the time comes. But yeah, anyway, other than that though, thanks so much for watching and until next time, bye.